Hi, this is just a quick recording to show you how to bring this in. Over to the left there's the files that I've um, unzipped. Just drag them across, go into the layers panel. You'll see this particular file's in two layers. Group it together, go down to the right and group. You'll see it's now a group. Just move it out the way because otherwise the next one you pull in will sit on top of it. Drag that across and do the same thing. There's your files. Highlight them all down to the right and group. Move it out the way. This was uh, done because uh, one of uh, members of the group was having a bit of trouble finding the different files because there's different sizes. So once again, select them. You'll see them come into group. Move it out the way. <laughs> Be repetitive, but very easy to do. Bring it again, and once again, group it. Oops, missed it. There we go. And group it and line them up. Now, you can't really see that there's much difference, but if you go over to the edit panel, you'll see that there's the sizes there. If you click on that one, you can see that size, that variation. There's just a minor variation between each of these files. Basically, there's small and large with some variation within the small and large. Now, you can't see it very well. So go up to the top to change the colouring and put the black line in. So that's the, the stroke. Change that to black. And then the fill, change to transparent up the top left. And OK. And now you can see the file. So that's what the file looks like. It's a cutting file for a, a sewing. It's come from acquaintstitch.com. Uh, so check it out. It was a free file, so it looks pretty nice to do. And then just export it to your scan and cut. And away you go. Easy as. Thanks for watching.